Okay, what we're going to do is go over how to create a document using Google Docs. And in this case, we're going to develop a classification, a matter classification spreadsheet. Well, it's not really a spreadsheet, it's more of a diagram. All right, the first thing you have to do is you have to have a Google account. So if you don't have a Google account, go, go to google.com. Um, you know, there'll be a key there to sign in, and when you try to sign in, it'll ask you to create an account, and you're going to want to create that Google account. We'll use that throughout the year uh, for various projects that you're going to hand in. Instead of sending me a paper copy of a project, you'll just share it with me on your Google account, and that way we can uh, hand in stuff online. Okay, once you have your Google account set up, what you're going to do for this assignment is you're going to go to Documents, and you're going to click on Documents. And what we're going to do is come over to here, and we're going to click on Create. Now, when we do, say, Word documents or things that you're going to type, you would use Document. Presentation would be a PowerPoint sort of thing. Spreadsheet, that would be an Excel sort of thing. And there's various other things. But what we're going to use is Google Drawing. So click on Google Drawing. And now what you have here is a platform to make your classification sheet. So what we're going to do is we need to pick shapes. Typically you use boxes or circles. So if we come up here, we can pick our different shapes. And I'm going to click on Shape. And I'm going to just pick a basic box. And then what you want to do is put your cursor here, click and drag to the size box you want, and there you go. Now if I want to put words in here, what I can do is click on the text box, come inside my shape, and I can type matter. And then I can click and drag and move that, whoops, and move that around to wherever I want it. Okay, so now if I want another box for another classification, let's say I put one there, and let's say I put one there. Now to connect these, I'm going to click on the line, I'm going to click on it, I'm going to click where I want to go from, let's say from here to here, and you don't have to go from spot to spot, you can go from there to there, that would work just fine. It's just spot to spot is convenient. And then again, I can put letters in there. I can put text box, say mixture, and then over here, click on text box. Um, I think the other one we used was pure substance. And then re hit return. Okay, so once you're done with your matter classification sheet, you need to give your sheet a title. So over here, you can either just click right on there, or you can click on, um, I believe it's insert, hmm, yeah, well you can just click on, on your title. In your title, you want to put your name. So for me, I'm going to do Mr. Hannanen Matter classification. So you always want to put your name and then what the assignment is. Click OK. Now the way you're going to hand this in is up here in the upper right hand corner you're going to click on share. And as you can see right now it's it's only I can see this document. So what I'm going to do is click on share and then I'm going to put an email and I'll send it to my personal email. What you guys are going to put there is you're going to, put, in fact, let me do, I'll do it that way. You're going to put Hannanen Chemistry at gmail.com. And you want to make sure you leave it on can edit. That way I can write comments on it and give it back to you so you can know what grade you got. When you're done with that, click share and save. And now I have a copy of that. So you can click done. So now for me, if I were to go back to my Google, my Google page, in other words, let's just go right to there. Okay, so now if you look at my documents, now you see Mr. Hannon and Matter Classification. If I click on that, I can see 
the document that was sent to me, but not only that, I can then type on it myself. So I might want to put a text box in here and say, good job. And then what I would do, what you would do is when, as soon as I type that, you would see that on your document. So again, you're going to go to that share button and you're going to share it at Hannon and Chemistry at gmail.com. Okay, so that's how you're going to do the first assignment. And again, if you have any questions, ask them on the forum um, or you can email me directly. General questions you should ask on the forum so everybody can see the question. And that is all.